Hey, right. Mm. Coachella for you, Fit Studio. Uh, now, I'm talking. I, I, this was actually, I swear, I, I want to say I swear down. I swear down because for members listening or watching this, they're like, oh, you've just put this in right now just because. I haven't. I haven't. I swear. Remember, I promise. I promise with both hands in the air. I can't get my feet up and I don't have socks on, so I'm not going to do that. With both hands in the air, I promise that this was not planned to go live with the in house challenge. Uh, an external challenge, the D1S challenge online in any way at all. This was, uh, it wasn't even planned. This was planned, this live was planned about two months ago. This is how far, I've already planned, started planning January's. So this is how far ahead. I just, somewhere in my soul, I guessed <laughs> that we'd be doing a D1S right now because that started yesterday. And if you missed the boat, sorry, it started not yesterday because today's Wednesday. <laughs> See how bad this is. Started on Monday. So the D1S um, UFIT Studio Challenge started on Monday and we have a group of people doing that together, which is very lovely. And I've, I plan to do a live about challenges and things that happen on challenges. So this is well placed. So if one of two things, one of two things, tea sip. Mm, good tea. Right. One of two, one of two things. First thing, um, if you are a member or one of our external lovely people who have joined us online for a period of time, um, i.e. the number of weeks, I want to say six weeks, <laughs> six weeks. Uh, if you've joined us to do um, uh, the D1S and your external internal, uh, it's good. This is that I psychically, like some septic peg, mystic meg knockoff thought that this was going to be happening. So put this into play for a live. Who knew? This is what I'm going to do. If you've missed the boat, I don't think we're doing another one this year. However, uh, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, we are uh, launching the revamp 28, uh, which will be available online as well. So this will also help because it kind of sits with a lot of our clients to do 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 do. <laughs> Such a child. Online, uh, online swift, short challenges with us as well, uh, because this is the kind of mentality. Now, uh, understandably, and I think if I, when I'm talking to any of the people who join us for a period of time that do do a challenge in-house or externally, um, everyone has like a shared, shared thing. It's like, I really just need to kick up the arse, right? They need a kickstart, um, need a little bit of a, <laughs> make some noise, <laughs> a literal, sometimes metaphorical, physical, in some cases in the past, literal kick up the backside to get stuff done. I promised I was going to swear, to get stuff done, okay? So it stands to reason that challenges draw people because they know deep down that stuff, <laughs> stuff just isn't getting done, right? Stuff isn't getting done. Uh, they know what they need to do deep down somewhere. They need it. They know it. They just have to have that, that extra layer of accountability and extra layer of discomfort to some degree to get things moving for whatever reason, right? Um it's just some steps they're missing to get things in action that doing a, a challenge or going into a challenge mentality gives them, regardless of the time, it's like four, six, four, six, 90 days, whatever it is, right? Um, somebody is looking for it now. I'm going to go through first, uh, essentially what happens when somebody comes to uh, what's called, lovingly, the challenge cycle. Now, the challenge cycle is what I'm about, is what it is famously said by m m most people at the minute the challenge cycle so the challenge cycle people initial one initial excitement oh i talked about this little the other day when i talked about yo-yo was that yesterday who knows i think it was yesterday only my gosh i think it was wow time flies so yesterday I talked about yo-yo dieting, and this is it's a little bit on the same same kind of uh, line. Initial excitement um, when you go into challenge is exactly that. It's shiny, it's new, um, it's nothing you've done before. Uh, it is literally like, oh, new thing, do it, do it, do it. And you generally will see majority of people stick to it 100%. Oh, Jags, hey. So 100% sticking to a new challenge, right? They're on it, on it, on it, on it, on it. Um, now, that's usually for... Uh, there's usually a section of time. And this is... Okay, I'm going to clarify. When we're doing challenges, this is saying a self-applied challenge. I should have made that clear. When you're doing a self-applied challenge, this is what happens. 
So if you say to yourself, right, I'm challenging myself to do 30 days of, this is, this is, let me clarify, this is when you're doing it so this is what happens. So initially you set yourself a challenge, you go, wow, 100%, we'll do this 100% for a period of time. Now, if I'm going to make these nice and even numbers, mainly because I'll get confused myself, if I say you're doing a four week challenge to yourself, say, right, I'm going to do this for a month, I'm going to do this for the month, right? Set myself a challenge to do this for a month. Uh, first week, 100%. Mm, the first five days maybe if you're always on a monday it starts on monday right so monday to friday on it 100 percent mm, still around about 90 percent the weekend um essentially you just can't wait to get into it right because you're so on it on it on it need it need it want it want it um and what happens is that it goes into like a, a the second stage which is usually past week two maybe at the back end of week yeah week two ish week three um there's a period of restriction right the period of restriction where you're like i can't do it i can't go back i've started going forward now i've got to keep doing this i promised myself i would do this i promised myself i promised myself um and all the while you're still thinking about your old habits right you're still drawn to the old things you used to do because you enjoyed them why not we all do you're still drawn into your old way of thinking or however you want to call it you're drawn into behaving in a particular way right you're drawn into it uh, which means you just want it. You just want it hard, right? You want to go backwards almost. But you fit, you're restricting yourself harder and harder and harder because you promised yourself you'd do this challenge. Um, and you're getting, right, the stage three, a short, short-lived success, right? Short-lived success because the restriction will get you a short-term result, maybe over two to three weeks. Back end of three weeks, you'll lose a bit of weight. Um, unfortunately, stage four of the cycle, let's call it change cycle, the relapse, going back round into old behaviours going, oh, I've done so well, <laughs> usually about end of week three into week four. And so actually, uh, because there's been so much restriction in that kind of behaviour in the first one to two weeks, it's kind of like a solid roll round and you're going back round into the circle, almost like the month has to reset. And what do you do? You go into a new month and you set yourself a new challenge, right? So that is challenge mentality if done solo to some degree or when we're trying to self self set goals over the month period where we're kind of like on oh, i'm doing it this time i'm doing it right i think we've all probably done it at some point like this is a new month i will do this and that's generally uh what i've found now with those clients who are kind of starting the the the, the one that we're doing which has has different levels around it um Challenges, this sounds, the way I've, I've relayed that, can sound quite negative, right? It can sound a bit like I talked about yesterday about yo-yo dieting when you approach it in a particular way. Well, guess what, though? There are different ways of approaching it. So it doesn't, it doesn't and isn't in <laughs> in the cases where we do them, isn't the case that we find that someone goes around in a cycle. Because what's important is how you approach it when you're in the moment. Um, firstly, Certainly for those who are doing it, they might, a lot of people come back saying, God, there's so much food. Yes, there is. It's very unrestrictive, right, for good reason, because we know how we're doing on your food and nutrition as part of that. And as part of the revamp uh, 28 guys, they, they know that their food isn't restrictive, right? So firstly, um, it's never a, a challenge in this in this, as much as I'm having to restrict anything, which is great. They're still excited, which is great. Um, we encourage them to still have some of their old behaviours because we want them to have some, right? So we avoid going to stage four by keeping some of those elements, right? So that's the, the, one of the things I want to point out. Now, the other thing is to say that, that challenges can be incredibly positive, right? Uh, the main thing is, I think, and that's certainly something that, that we do with our clients, is to keep celebrating success. Because um, too often when we do these things alone, we're very negative and critical of ourselves. I think the internal voice is like, well, you've you should have done this, you should have done that, you've not done this, you, you said you were going to do that and you didn't. And in that, often we overlook all the positive things that we have actually done, all the great changes we have actually made, um, all the the things that we have done that we said we were going to do because we're too busy telling ourselves off for the things that we haven't done, right? And that often means that we're not celebrating our successes and that still feeds into that restrictive behaviour and starting to, to want old behaviours even more if we're, we're not actually recognising there is progress, right, in particular ways. Secondly, I think anybody who um, does comes to, 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 to you fit to do a challenge or um, in-house or online or even uh, clients as they do it internally, I think it's, it actually shows 
an entire willingness to want to change, right? Somebody's ready to change where they're ready to make an investment. Now, some people say, okay, but why pay for a challenge? Why, why put money on it? Well, exactly for that, because if you're, if you're ready to put your money where your mouth is and actually put some risk and reward into um, a challenge behavior, you're also showing a level of willingness to actually say, right, I'm applying myself to this because actually it does have value. It does actually give me something that I don't get somewhere else. That's the truth of it. So that's why that comes with that ultimately, right? It helps you understand, right? <laughs> Learn what strives you, right? Now, the in not even too much away, eh, well, a little bit. So the, the what separates uh, some of the, the, the D1S challenges is the, the mindset, right? The mindset videos that everyone has to complete in the morning and in the evening where they've really got to dig deep, really got to give reasons why they're choosing to do things on a daily basis, why they're choosing right, to complete an action or not complete an action that they, they said they're going to set out to do for the day, to share that with a group of people that not, may not be, t well, majority like, the clients will know each other, but then we've also got internal people there as well, right? So they've never met uh, any of the people that they're, they're sending these videos to, right? It's a private group, and yet they're sharing actually some some really deep, right, right, quite uh, personal reasons in some cases as to, to why something didn't happen. And what's fantastic is there's a group support around it uh, where people actually look at it and watch each other's videos, or actually kind of get into it. There's, support, there's so much support going on already. And for a couple of days, it's great to watch like the comments on each other's videos. People are actually watching the videos, right, of each other and saying like, right, we're a team, let's get it done, right? You can't, that, you, you need to find that about yourself and have those support you do that if you're doing a, a challenge on a group basis. is something you, you just, you just, it's just different when you're doing it on your own, absolutely. Um, and also it's important to, to recognise that um, whilst a lot of the, the habits we talk about, we instill a lot of accountability, the different layers that go into some of the challenge approaches um, are all super beneficial. A lot of it's always at the end of the day to help someone take something into actual longevity, right? Because the thing is about the restrictive side of it that I mentioned the first, first off, right? The restrictive side of it isn't for life. Can't be for life cannot be for life uh, and that's not something that that we just don't do right we don't do as part of youth and say you can't have this you can't have that we'll, we'll like it stands to being honest and say well look if you're choosing to have 10 donuts as a as a as a as a uh, well done for the week let's be honest you're probably not going to get to the target that you'd like to get to in this period of time and that's being honest on the flip side though it's not saying that well <laughs> that's it uh it's the end of the day it's like finding out why why did you why did you like what was in the moment that caused that so that when that moment happens again because it will right because we're human what is it you learned from that behavior what you learned from that habit and what can you take further on in and that again sometimes unless you're in that mentality you don't always actually get to experience um so yeah the main thing is to learn right this is a thing for all of you guys that are doing this at the minute uh, if you're watching this, so you're doing this again, said you're in-house clients or um, external, this is opportunity to, for you to learn more about yourself, more about what makes your mind tick, more about where you place your intentions, because where <laughs> your intentions go, energy flows, right? Great saying, love that. Well, that's exactly what happens. If you're actually focused on your overall goal, if you're focused on what you're trying to achieve, then that's a different kettle of fish when you're, you're doing it solo because it's only ever restrictive and it only goes back to again what I talked about yesterday which is a yo-yo mentality so up and down up and down up and down right just keep going in keep going out keep going in keep going out right and never actually getting anywhere because you're always going through the same cycle the same shower rinse and repeat because actually you're not seeing the long game right the long game can be frustrating can be annoying etc that actually it's not to say that you can't learn a vast amount from it it's but approaching it in the right mindset and with a certain layers of accountability, yes, to ensure you don't get restrictive, to ensure you do what you say you're going to do, to ensure you don't go back around the cycle. Because God knows that, you know, inevitably, if someone isn't in that mindset and isn't digging deep, it can be very challenging. And I get that, pun, pun. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> However, that is how it actually works, right? There's, there's, yes, everyone needs that kick sometimes to understand what's important. Yes, that's what a challenge gives you. 
do I think um, do I think challenges can should be done like again and again and again and again and again? No, for the same reasons I've just discussed. Right, I think it's always great to see them as a reason to get yourself kickstart, really start to learn about yourself, really start to understand why you do do or don't do things right in a particular uh, setting with like we do on the the DNS with a group of people. Right, so who was it? Someone today mentioned it. I can't remember what she said. She just said, "Ah, oh, yeah." She said, um, she said, it is like we're doing it together. She said, I've, and she's done, she did one uh, three years ago. And she, because she was, it was a different place then. And I think the, the, the way we sat it was like, she said, actually this time I, I feel like I'm not doing it alone. I'm doing it with people, which is right. Again, always fantastic to do it in a group, right? Also quite supportive. So sometimes if you are not, um, again, if you're not going to do an online challenge with this, et cetera, always to think about, okay, is there somebody else outside? of me that can actually be part of my support system is there somebody in my life in my world who actually benefit from me doing that with them because actually teamwork is dream work right so izzy's clearly done finished her cooking <laughs> izzy bring some around you're not that far away from me <laughs> honest oh you're baking if you're baking oh yeah bring it bring it please <laughs> so quick recap right so four so four Stages of a challenge, if you're setting a challenge for yourself that we see day in, day out. Uh, excitement, initial excitement, very excited, so excited, so excited, so excited, so excited stick to 100%. Uh, Short-lived success, uh, return to normal behaviour because you're too restrictive and you desire your old habits too much. Um, and then a return to normal, which is then going back around the cycle, right? Um, it can be, that sounds negative, it can be positive though, because guess what? They do give you the kickstart that you need, right? They absolutely do that. It's imperative that you celebrate the successes as they come through and recognise what they are, right? Recognise what your successes are. Because, again, if you're too hung up on being restrictive and not being fast enough or good enough or better enough or should have, should have done this or should have, should have done that, you'll never understand and recognise where you've made true improvements while you're still trying to achieve something further ahead. So always celebrate what you're doing during that. Actually recognise that you are making progress in whatever form it comes in. Remember that if you're doing this, right, that you're showing willingness to change. Anybody comes and does that, they're willing to change. That means that someone you know that you have to change and you have to take action. You're showing absolute willingness to do that. Um, <laughs> learn while you're doing things, right? Always great. Again, go back to those videos. It's fantastic to actually see a group of people really and in the nicest possible way, exposing how they feel about themselves. Um, in that setting, in that safe environment, um, and doing uh, having this approach when you're really looking at change in a different perspective gives you that. You learn who you are as a person and why you do things. Um, and it's these habits are for life, right? That's why we have clients that've been with us for oh God, coming on decades, right? Um, because they understand that, that, and they've done challenges as well, right? They do them again to refresh things, to restart uh, something in their head, and also every time to learn something new. Um, yeah, I must say this as well. I always say this is, and we talk about this with our clients as well. If you're doing something like this, you always plan in social stuff, right? Always plan in ahead of time uh, that you're going to be still socialising. There's, there's, it's very difficult. Like you should always want to enjoy your life at the same time as giving yourself a challenge, right? I mean, it doesn't have to be a set amount of time. A challenge could be multiple things. You know, I could have done this live in in different ways, all over the place. Like, what is a challenge, right? doesn't have to be a set period of time it can be just literally i'm setting myself a challenge to do one thing every day for the next 30 days it could be anything right it doesn't have to be a number a figure so many people do so many people put a number on it a challenge can mean so many different things so always bear that in mind that it doesn't have to mean i lose a stone in a month right it can be i'm going to get out of bed and spend time with my kids before school um and we actually be present while they're getting ready Right, it can be something like that. That that can be for some people a challenge, right? So, change mentality. Always one thing can be another anyway. Right. Ooh, we got health hacks tomorrow, as well as the um, epic evening event of my seminar. Yeah, it's happening. It's a real thing. There's a seminar tomorrow night at seven fifteen. Yes, buddy. So if you've not got anything else on, it's pre-EastEnders. If you watch that. 
you want to fill, fill a gap, come and join me. Uh, in the meantime, have a lovely evening, everybody.